Kevin, the Pirates not only opened Northwest Conference play, they got to play at home for the first time this season, officially, yeah. in a match, uh, not counting the alumni. Uh, just take us back through this past weekend, a couple of clean sheets defensively, but a, a challenging time trying to find the back of the net ourselves. So yeah. a 1-0 win over uh, George Fox and a 0-0 draw with Pacific. What did you see? Uh, we're creating some chances. It's just things aren't falling the way they fell for us last year yet. Um, I expect that with more time in front of goal and live play that we'll get sharper. Uh, we have been doing a lot of finishing and training, so hopefully that's going to help us as well. Uh, very happy with actually the way we played overall, especially the second half in uh, against Pacific. We were a little disappointed for the number of opportunities we created in the first half and really picked it up in the second half. I thought we were pretty unlucky. I don't like using that word, but <laughs> unlucky to not score a goal or two. Um, proximity we were right there it just you know some of the things that went off the post and in last year are now just shaving the post and missing so we'll see what happens uh how different is it playing the noon start game uh you know typically the men have played the second half of the conference double headers mm -hmm. and uh now you guys are up first and it, it just creates a different dynamic in terms of warm-ups and uh preparation and when you get up and when you get ready uh, do you notice any difference for the guys this year? Not quite yet. This is only my second year, so I only have two games in uh, to notice that change. Uh, I like it. I like playing first. Um, it gives us uh, opportunities to gather afterwards and watch and watch the women as well as uh, talk about the game that we just played. So, so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. This week you have a, a split schedule. You're going to be at Whitman on Wednesday and then at... Linfield on Sunday. Uh, talk about the difference in training this week and preparing for one match midweek and one match on the weekend. We've been pretty banged up in preseason, so um, we were going to take a lighter day uh, today anyway and work with our uh, second tier of players that have been absolutely amazing in their support of uh, the players on the field. So I actually enjoy these Mondays where we get to work with players that maybe don't get to be on the field. We get to pull or uh, pour all of our attention into them and them alone. So um, in terms of the differences, this week is just, you know, it's lighter. Um, today is recovery, tomorrow is off, and then we'll go to Whitman, and then we'll recover on Thursday, prep for Linfield on Friday, and then we're on the road Saturday. Talk about Whitman, uh, Battle of Wits uh, has always been a great match, whether here or there. What challenges mm -hmm. do they present? And then tell us also a little bit about Linfield for Sunday. Jose is really good in terms of organizing his team offensively and de defensively, so we're looking forward to uh, the opportunity to, p to compete on Wednesday. Yep, I almost said tomorrow. Um, but in terms of Linfield, it's always difficult to travel all that way uh, to play. Um, we'll see what happens. Four games in nine days is a lot, um, but right now we're pretty healthy, so excited about that part. 